Welcome, foolish mortals. Time to be turning around. If only you could. Cause this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness! Hey, Henry, what's holding you up? Let's get on with the show. We can't hang around here all day. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. There's no turning back now. This is the greatest show! Now it's time for the WDW Beyond the Gates podcast with your hosts, Michael Hurley and Gary Aruda. That's right. This is the WDW Beyond the Gates podcast, episode number 528, recorder from the Defont Leroy Studios in Kent County, Rhode Island, in sunny southwest Florida. I'm your host, Gary, joined as always by my co-host and my cousin, Mike, down in Florida. How are you doing today, Michael? I'm doing well. That's good. How's everything in the uh, in the sunshine state? In the sunshine state. It's fantastic. Now, every time I hear that, I think of Tupac, but it's the wrong sunshine state. Oh, I don't know what you're talking sunshine about. sunshine state where the bomb-ass hemp be. Oh, the the yeah, state. that's on because the other coast over there. Yeah. California. I think we listened to that on the way into the member guest. California. Yeah. Love. And then we got drummed by uh, <laughs> Richard Veal, Salt and Boca. Yeah. Humphrey, well, we got, we? We got, yeah, that was right. That was the that was the Rick Humphrey day. That was good. <laughs> Guy shoots a thirty six on his own ball in the tenth flight. We're gonna need our good uh, friend, our ombudsman, Michael Duranco, to investigate Rick Humphrey for. Uh, handicap sandbagging i think yeah yeah mr duranko does need to look into i know he's listening so we might have to look at his gin we're gonna have to audit that one anyway we're joined again uh this week by emily from magic key adventures podcast emily thank you for joining us from the great state of arizona how are you this evening thank you i'm doing good that's good why don't you tell everyone uh listening where they can find you and find your podcast so we have Magic Key Adventures. You can find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And then I have my Instagram. It's Emily's underscore Disney underscore adventures. Um, and so we just showed all our trip. I just posted a bunch of stuff from our trip to Walt Disney World. And I'll post uh, stories from and post about Disneyland. And then our podcast is mainly about trip reports. Um going to Disneyland and Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line. Very nice. So check that out, please. Now this week, Michael. Yes, um, sir. You went up to property a couple yes. times when yep. uh, Emily and her husband, Daniel, were, were hanging out. And initially you met and went to the concert and did the Rose and Crown thing. And then you heard that they were going to the newly reopened 1900 Park Fair for breakfast, correct? I know the exact spot, too, Gary. Right. We were walking I'm past sure. Morocco on our way to see Jefferson Starship. I mean, okay. that's what they were called back in the 70s. And I heard something about, well, we have 1900 Park Fair on Monday. And your cousin, who's a cast member, did not want to go because she sleeps until about noon or 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That was way too early for her. And mm -hmm. I said, ooh, we don't have to modify that reservation. Uh-uh-uh. You didn't mind slipping right in, did you? Nope. We were. We were about to modify it. For some yeah. reason, it wasn't letting us modify the reservation because we had already modified Topolino's. So you probably would have joined us for Topolino's. You would have seen a lot more of me if Topolino's was on the agenda. Right. Right. So we were able to modify that one. I probably could have modified it and added you back in, like added a person. We just didn't try it. Um, and then we, you know, then we weren't able to modify for some reason, 1900 Park Fair. Um, so yeah, we, we just changed it over to you. 
And you weren't complaining about that, were you? Absolutely oh. not. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Nineteen hundred Park Fair. That. I mean, as soon as my reservations opened up, I think they already had opened up to, to get you know reservations at the resort or different places. Yeah. And nineteen hundred Park Fair. That day that it opened up, I was on it. I wanted to get in. I wanted to do breakfast again. Now then. you got to try to jump on it like at eight in the morning East coast. So were you like on the app, like literally at five o'clock on the, uh, yeah, you're only, are you three or two? Because Arizona is goofy, right? We're three. You are three, three okay. hours right now. So we're the same time as California, but we don't change times. Oh, like, we, okay. We so change. you're three and two. Yeah. So oh, okay. yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, we never change. So yeah, I, I don't know what time I got up. I just remember I was gonna I was gonna get this reservation. I wasn't gonna miss out on it. Now, why were you so so gung ho? Had you been there in the past and liked it, or was it just because it was reopening and you wanted to experience it? So we had been there in the past. We went back in 2018 to 1900 Park Fair, and I mm-hmm. loved it. I loved the character breakfast. I loved um, you had Mary Poppins and you had Alice and. Um, they had, I think they might've even had like Winnie the Pooh or somebody like that there. They had a bunch the, of characters. Yeah. The Mad Hatter was there. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. that The Mad Hatter is classic, isn't it? Right. Yeah. And yeah. And so, so I was hoping that we would get that. And they kind of hinted like the characters that they were going to have, but I thought, okay, maybe they'll bring back some of the old ones too. So they didn't have that. They didn't have Mary Poppins. They don't have Alice, which is kind of a bummer. It's a total um, bummer. Mm-hmm. It's a total moment, not for me because I could care less about characters, but that that breakfast and that dinner that was so perfectly themed mm-hmm. around the characters and and my first take was that they kind of missed that, don't you think? Right. Yeah. They they definitely did. I feel like they. I mean, you're in the Grand Floridian. It's mm-hmm. e- like English style. For, Absolutely. You know. Well, they uh, need to have Mary Poppins. The and- DVC oh. lobby is themed to Mary Poppins. The right. pool is themed to Alice in Wonderland. And then they have Jasmine in the rest right, of it. It doesn't right. make a lot of sense. Yep. Yeah. So we had Cinderella, which, I mean, what is Cinderella supposed to be French? So it kind of goes a little bit. And then so you, we had you Cinderella. can't miss with Cinderella. You can have Cinderella at any character breast- breakfast and mm-hmm. it's going to be fine. But, right. you know, you're but exactly then- right. Yeah. But then we had, um, who else did we have? I think, uh, uh, oh, we had Tiana. Yep. Who who doesn't fit. No. Nope. She, she doesn't fit nope. in there. She's like, and then even her outfit that she's in, it's like the Bayou outfit. It's supposed, it's, you know, it's all for Tiana's Bayou. That's why they're like advertising her, which she does. She's, she was cute. I loved her, but she just doesn't fit there. Yeah. She had the best personality out of all of them. She was the only one that got me out of the chair to take a picture. <laughs> But I mean, yeah. every person who came over, I'd like look over at you and like, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> and then Snow White, she was there. So I think she she was good. I mean, even though she b- belongs in Germany, um, you know, she was she was cute to have. Uh, you don't really get Snow White too often for character breakfast. So that was kind of nice to have True. her. Yep. Yeah, Snow White. And then the other one was from um, Encanto. Oh, Maribel. I thought Jasmine met. She's not in it. I was wrong about that. Aladdin. We were supposed to get Aladdin. Oh, okay. He was not there. Gotcha. Aladdin was um sick or on on, on something vacation. happened with the boo and his flying car and the flying carpet or whatever, so he couldn't make it that day. Um so yeah, we had Maribel and she doesn't fit there either. You know, Maribel should be somewhere else. She was cute. She she looks just like Maribel. That's exactly what I think she should look like. But that, yeah, that didn't go with Grand Floridian and the theming there. So that was kind of a bummer. I wanted those old characters back. But the food was great. Even if they made it like an excuse, like, oh, so-and-so Mary Poppins is hosting all her friends. Like, have someone that fits the resort and say that she's... yes. Right. Bringing in her friends from all over the world to celebrate with you, and then you can have it that way. But they don't even they try that. It's just like here's some characters. The kids want to see it. That's it. End of story. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, the theming with the characters isn't that great. They do do the little show 
where you make your wish and you put yeah, it on the card. Yeah, I like that. That was cute where you make your wish and then they go around and they dance around everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so that was nice. I thought that but, show was I thought that show was good. Jiminy Cricket narrated it. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so the, that show, and it comes on every so often that they, they do that show. I think we got to see it like twice. Twice, yeah. I want to say maybe every hour because we had a 10.35. I think we heard it like a little bit after 11, then a little bit after noon. So it's about every hour. So they give you like a, what, like a card, like all th the three of us had like a card and you can like write, write a wish, write, write. Oh. Yeah, write our wish for the day. Yeah, so that that was something that we got to do. And then you have to put your card up and do this whole thing because your wish needs to come true. So they, you do that. And I think it, it's great for the kids. I, yep, you know, I, I, I think this is a great character breakfast for kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I like it. And I think the buffet is excellent. You know, everything that they had. So we'll, I don't know if you want to talk about that one. Absolutely. More all the details. The food was great. Um, Let me ask you a question before we get into the food. Mm -hmm. How, how did the restaurant look? I, they redid basically everything, right? Yeah. yeah. This is like the last place that hadn't it's reopened open. since yeah, COVID. I mean, right. So it's been five years, basically, that it's been closed. I don't really see much difference from when I was looking back at my old yeah. pictures. Yeah. I don't see a lot of change. It doesn't seem like they changed it. it, it up this that this much. was a refurb that should have taken, if, if it was a true refurb, should have taken three months at best yeah i mean they recarpeted they they, they reconfigured because i remember where we sat when i went with you and the kids and your wife mm -hmm. like that table's no longer there so they reconfigured some stuff but it's still like like emily said it's the same bones they still have mm -hmm. like that like carousel in there ago. and everything y yeah they do yep yeah. they do so mm -hmm. different colors new carpeting uh like i said you know there's it's a two to three month refurb. It wasn't. Yeah, five years. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they should have opened it a long time ago. Um, but the buffet just it it didn't disappoint. It was still no. really good, like the last one. Um, now I had did not try the strawberry soup the first time yeah. that I went to 1900 Park Fair, but this time I had to try it. All right, I wanted to see because there's a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people yeah. love it, and then there's those people that just don't. Don't like it at all. They like hate it. I thought it was excellent. So and one you of and I both went up at the same time for that. And what did the chef tell you that we so, needed to do? Yeah. So we had to make sure you put extra fresh strawberries in there. And then they had a cream there. So make sure you put like the cream or the whipped cream in there on the top. And huh. it just. You just kind of mix it in. It's just like a, a beautiful strawberry parfait. And mm -hmm. their fruits are, are just so fresh. Like their strawberries are just so consistent yeah they're now they call it they call it a soup but it's really it's just like cold period strawberry it's not sure hot. yeah yeah that's pretty much what it is but the, i know i know that they also served it at dinner right back in the day to. so like that's just one of their signature dishes but it, it's excellent yeah no i'm not saying it wouldn't be good but i think like people if they're listening and they don't know and they think of like strawberry soup they, they go like strawberries floating around in some chicken broth with noodles it's not yeah really right bad. right yeah 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 yep no i know what you mean yeah no it was it's just really good i i you can't even say it's it's not like yogurt no it's not but it's because yeah, it's not it's, thick like that but when you did throw the uh whipped cream in it thickened it up but like the regular consistency is a lot less than a yogurt it's hard to explain right. just try it it's a you know it doesn't cost you anything Right. It's something worth trying at least once if yep. and then if you're not crazy about it. But if I mean I would I would probably do that towards the end because it's more like a dessert. Yeah, um, you're right. Yep. That's beginning. when we both had it, right at the end. Mm -hmm. Could even like yes. pour it over some of your Mickey waffles or something. I bet that would be good. Yeah, you sure could. Yeah. Yeah. That does sound really good. Um, so we we went around, we checked everything out. I tried um I think the only thing I wasn't crazy about was the biscuits and gravy. Um, yeah, that was the first thing that you got. Because as you walk in, they have, you know, they have a cereal station. They have the cereal station with the bagels and the starches. And then what they have, like oatmeal. Mm -hmm. And they had. 
grits, I believe. They had oatmeal. They had grits. They had scrambled eggs. They had cheesy scrambled eggs. They had your uh, cheesy potatoes, bacon, pork sausage, uh, turkey sausage, Mickey waffles. I mean, they, they had everything. It, it's not as crazy as Bulma. Yeah. But it's it's a great buffet. Do they have like an omelet station or anything? So they don't have an omelet station per se, but you actually order it from your server. Oh, really? Yeah, because we, they have a carving station, so they had ham that day. And I asked uh, the carver if I could order an omelet. She's like, you actually have to get it from your server. And, I mean, our server was on top of things all the time. I mean, she didn't miss a thing. She was, as soon as you were done, she was clearing your plate, and she was fantastic. And I said, can I order an omelet for me? She's like, yeah. So she's like, what, you know, what do you want? So I told her and, you know, it's, it's made to order, obviously. And she came over and, you know, oh, you know, it's going to be a few more minutes. I'm like, we're in no hurry. We're just we're chatting over and here. Enjoying it. Yeah. yeah, we were enjoying it. But anyway, we'll go back up because you had the uh, biscuits and gravy and you said. Eh. Yeah, it was not good for biscuits and gravy. It was not good at all. The gravy wasn't good. The bread wasn't bad, the biscuit, but the gravy was, it just wasn't, it was lacking a lot of flavor. It was not good. It it sound, It just seemed like it was old and it had been sitting there for a while and it just didn't have any salt, nothing to it. So that one I would not recommend eating again. That's disappointing. Um, that's one of my favorite things. And when that's done right, it can be so good. Right? Yeah, no, this one was not good. Like, so I was, I was sad. I think... It came on the platter we got at uh, Whispering Canyon, and that was pretty good. You don't like it, mm -hmm. so no, I, I'm not a fan of it. No, so I had it, and I really liked it from there. But yeah, I guess the one at 1900 isn't. Needs to be very peppery. This you need a lot of sausage in it to give it like the saltiness and the savoriness, because otherwise it's mm -hmm. just like it's like school paste. It's just flour and, and right. Milk. It's grease. Yeah, yeah and. Flour and grease and yeah. So and so, you, you so have you don't to have, have enough sausage. seasoning. Yeah, it's not going to be good. No, so it wasn't. It wasn't good. So yeah, we had that. And then I got the. I think it was like the monkey bread that they had there. Oh, I don't remember it was like that. The, it like was like the pull apart like cinnamon bread. Yeah, or pull oh, apart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like kind of like a mini. Yeah, it was yeah, really they had good. That you could grab that. Okay. Those were really good. I had that. I also had the cheesy um, eggs, and then the I eggs had were fantastic. Yeah, those were great. Um, and then I had the cheesy potatoes. Those were excellent. Those were great breakfast potatoes. Gary, th this um, was their signature dish. Actually, it was like a cheesy potato casserole. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so it wasn't just like run of the mill. Hash no, it was no, okay. and this was. I probably would have paid the $55 just to have that. That's how oh, good geez. it was. Oh, it was good, huh? so good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't you think yep. that was the best thing that they had? I think, I, I really do think that. That one and ridiculous. then, um, yeah, those eggs were really good. The sausage was good. Um, That's good to hear that the eggs were good, though, because buffet eggs can be very mm -hmm. hit or miss. Very hit or miss. They yeah. were excellent. They were excellent. The bacon, and you're going to see it on, on the, our YouTube channel because I did a review with those guys. The bacon was, you know, that flop. Like, you like it crunchy slash greasy slash soft if you can have that complete combination. Yeah, I disagree. I like it almost like black Burnt. i like my bacon. okay see Super i like it the yeah. other way i like it where you can see the white greasiness but when you hold it it doesn't flop it stays straight yeah. that that's exactly is how I like an it. absolute perfect piece of bacon and that's how they were there mm -hmm. you like it that way emily yep i that's exactly how i like bacon i don't want it burnt i don't want no. it to be burnt yeah i want it yeah perfect i it's, could take like, it to me that's perfect i could take it a bare minimum there and then if it's cooked more i'm fine with it so I know how you're describing it. That's fine. And then anything even crispier, I like better. Yeah. And then they had like a, it was like a pizza breakfast. I, I can't even remember what it was called, but it was like, it was on a piece of bread and then it yeah, had. I know, because it was over where the potato barrels were. Right. And it had egg and it had cheese and it had bacon and it had chives on it. And it was good. That, oh, was, was it so really? Good. Yes, it was oh, so no, good. I'm kicking myself for not trying it. 
it just needed like some salsa. Like for me, I need salsa for my breakfast. So I would have added on those potatoes. I would have added some nice fresh salsa. I would have added that on, on the, the bread too. I mean, yeah, but they were really good. It was really, really, really good. Yeah. You should like have a tried breakfast it. flatbread or something. Yeah, yeah. almost. It yeah. was like a breakfast pizza. That's what they called it. Oh, that's cool. That one was really good. Um, what else did I have? Oh, we were just, we were, oh, the gummy bears. I made you try some gummy bears. Oh, those were horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it just gummy bears? Like a yeah, handful of candy? Straight up gummy bears. Mm -hmm. Why yeah, was that on the you... breakfast buffet? No idea, but they have okay. it there and you can. Um, so what I did at the very end, I, I had a cup. I asked for a cup so I can take my gummy bears to go. And so I just took a big old cup full of gummy bears and they let you take pog juice too to go. Yeah. She got, and, gave me a coffee to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. They're really nice about that. They said we could go back and get whatever we want. They're, you know, they're either going to throw it out. So, you know, go, we're at the end of the breakfast, you know, period. Oh, gotcha. So we could have gotten whatever we wanted. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that, yeah, that was great. Yeah, you thought the gummy bears were horrendous, but those were oh, like... Oh, they're gross. They're like the worms when I was a kid, like just terrible. Those were amazing. Those were really good gummy bears. Do you like so... gummy bears, Pods? I can take them. I like sweetest fish. I love sweetest No, it's the fish. same thing, aren't they? No, sweetest yeah, fish are a different they... texture than gummy bears, but... They're a little bit... Swedish fish are a little bit more like... um like They're firmer. They're firmer, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. No, but the gummy bears were good. They were really good flavor. Even Dan was eating them later on. He was like, yeah, these are actually good gummy bears. Yeah. So, yeah, we had those, the pog juice. I'm trying to think. Did we have, like, waffles? I feel like we did have the Mickey waffles. I did not, but they did have a tray of the Mickey waffles. Oh, yeah. I think gotta I, have that. You got to have I Mickey I tried waffles. them. I tried a Mickey waffle. I think when you got the omelet, I was already trying my Mickey waffle. Okay. Yeah, I did get that. Did they have um, any kind of like bread pudding or like French toast casserole kind of? A lot of times they have like a wheat, like cinnamon kind of, kind of thing. I'm trying Maybe to Maybe that was the monkey bread was the closest thing to that. That pull apart. Yeah. And then they have the carved, they were carved ham. Um, what else did they have? I mean, they had so much food, and it's just so nice and clean, and they're always like changing everything out. Yeah. So I really like that. Yeah, I can see that. The, you know, they have the sausage. They even had, you know, if you're a vegetarian, they had stuff for vegetarians. Yeah, they did have a few. Yeah, they did have some options. Yeah. And like you said, tons of fresh fruit. I'm sure they had like yogurt and granola and all that. Oh, kind they of had. Stuff. I'm looking. They had the beef and potato hash. Oh. I remember where that was. Yep, that was good. I tried that. They had a smoked salmon. Yep. Oh, really? They, I like they had yeah, watermelon. They had yep. Yeah, they had a ton of a ton of uh, the fruit, and cheese the, grits. Oh, fruits. They had cheese grits, and then they also had um, what is it? The cheesy potatoes, and then the cheese grits, and then um, they usually have like the overnight oats or something like that. Those kind of yeah. things in the cold station, yeah. Yeah, they had they had the fruit, cereals, pastries, and breads. The other thing over in the start station, they had donut holes, and they had this thing called the double chocolate muffin, which I didn't try because I don't normally like starches for breakfast. Yeah, you're not yeah. a big starch person. No, nah, not really. I even like I'll. Like if the bread's good, like if you get a good Topolino's bread, I'll have it. But if I'm just like at a regular restaurant, I don't want the. You're gonna do the eggs and the bacon and the sausage. You're not doing. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a. I don't like donuts, so I'm not a donut person. So I skip that all the time. I'd rather have like a, hearty breakfast. Yeah. Yep. Me too. On occasion, though, like I'll do the waffles to try it, the Mickey waffles, and then they had. I know they had croissants. They had everything. They. They basically have everything. Yeah. They have like mm. meats and cheeses. I know a lot of the breakfast buffets will have like. I don't recall like them burgers. having. No, I don't recall like like they do over at. Um, Ale and over at the beach club. Yeah. Where they remember we, we were able to get like salami and prosciutto and. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, they didn't have. I don't recall them having any types of meats like <laughs> the cold cut meats. 
Well, they had hash browns. I remember that. I'm like looking at everything that they had. Yeah, the hash browns were good. The potato barrels were good. The and whipped they, butter was good. What was? Oh, for like the bread and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. For the oh, like when I went and got my waffles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had that. And the syrup. Oh, the syrup. It's in a nice big container and it's warm. That's always a big thing. I, I don't mm -hmm. like to have syrup that's, you know, cold. Um, but this one was nice. It was warmed up. Yeah, I like I like having the warm syrup, like in the in the big thing. Later they had pancakes. On. Sure. I'm trying to see what else they had. Now you said they have a potato and and beef hash, like a corned beef hash kind of. Yeah, thing? yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. So I was thinking of checking this place out uh, for a dinner when I'm there, but now you got sure. me thinking breakfast. Yeah, but you said you're not a huge breakfast guy, right? I'd rather do dinner for me. Plus, when we went for dinner, it was good. They had that prime rib. It was so good, station. wasn't it? Yeah. It was so See, good. I, I didn't know that they did dinner. I think I would have made reservations for dinner as well if I would have. Well, I would have came noticed. for dinner as well. <laughs> you would have stayed to it both, just hang out in the lobby. At it the would have been, been perfect intermission. Like They got yeah. upgraded to that two-bedroom at Old Key West. We could have taken a nap, watch a movie, and head right back over to the Grand. That <laughs> you would like even a great. A great you could have even driven them. He would have. Yeah, I would have driven. I, yeah, you, we could have saved on the uh, Uber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have worked. Because usually we we just didn't want to be late for the reservation, so that's the only reason why we took the Uber lift. But a lot of times we'll just you know take it to Magic Kingdom and then take the boats, yeah, or sure. um, you know we'll do something yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it just worked out for us. Yeah, the I mean that food was excellent, and and the character breakfast was great. Do they do character breakfast for dinner? I wonder. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the same. Yeah. I think it's the same. It used to be different when they had yeah, the dinner. Yeah, the morning was, and the after. Yeah, the morning and the evening was always different. You're right. They had Cinderella, the stepsisters, and Prince Charming, and for dinner when we went, and then the breakfast was the Winnie the Pooh one and Alice and everything. So. Mm -hmm. I think now it's all the same characters for both, but yeah, I want to check. I think I'll check out the dinner. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I still feel like Boma is a better buffet. Yes, I I loved 1900 Park Fair, but Boma is the best. Boma is the best. But Boma, you, I mean, just the smell when you walk in there, Bum you can smell it through the whole lobby. You're getting grilled asparagus. I mean, they have like three different meat stations. Uh, Boma is like the fact that people don't run there. I think is people do. To me. Yeah, no, because it's busy. It's always busy. It always is, but nobody ever talks about it. No, because there's mm -hmm. no characters, and it's not easy to get to if you're staying on property and you don't have a car. Because if if you're staying at like Beach Club. How are you getting to Animal Kingdom Lodge easily for eight o'clock breakfast? You That's take true. An Uber, you know, it's hard to do unless you have a car. Right. That's true. So. Yeah. So, and then the fact that it doesn't have a character breakfast that that makes a difference. I mean, it is underrated. You know, but for me, is... that's a selling point because it's ten dollars cheaper. Right. Oh. Than the character breakfast. Like, like I honestly like everybody complains about Disney pricing. I feel like I'm screwing them when i go to boma because for what you pay and what you get is just if they had that across the street from me i'd probably go there twice a month that's how much mm, i love yeah. boma don't you agree gary like if they had oh, that it's buffet, so good yeah it's amazing it's, i like the, i think the dinner is excellent too i like See, i haven't better. done the dinner you've done the dinner huh yeah i did it uh couple years ago we i know they have dinner. like a bunch of different soups they because have like I five different that, soups yeah yeah yeah, their dinner's all, really good. good. You've been to a pair. Yeah, we've done the dinner. We've done Jico. We've done Boma. And we've done some. Yeah, so we've done them all. So you're, I mean, you're the foodie of the family, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because if you Jico, you like food. Oh, yeah. We did Jico. That, I love Jico. Yeah, Jico is amazing. Yeah, we've, I mean, even, Boma. We, I think we took Jordan when she was smaller. And Dan told her, you have to have at least four plates full of food. And so she did it. She was at her age where she was constantly eating. Mm -hmm. So 
she and she was growing she's really tall and so she definitely she went in there and she she filled up her plate four times nice. i don't think she'll do that now but she sure did that back then well if we take her out again we'll i'll make sure that she gets up to that fourth plate yeah tell her you'll have to tell her you're gonna eat four plates see what she says because she says they don't really eat you know now as a cast member i'm like no you're too busy partying she's having a good time Oh, but yeah, I think now, I'm uh, trying to get her on the show. By the way, Gary, heard, we yeah. we need desperately to do a, a college program show, don't you think? Yeah, this, that would be good. You said it She'd was like what, it. 50, fifty-five bucks a person. Yeah, it's like fifty-five, fifty-six. Again, is it worth it? Fifty-six dollars for breakfast? No, but the variety, the the food was good for the characters. If you want yeah, to, have I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's always hard to justify that price for breakfast, right? But the buffet, but like you said, I think Bulma's is like what forty two for breakfast. Yeah, I mean now? it was in the thirties, you know, when I first started going there. But they got to be in the forties now. Yeah, so mm -hmm. for like you said, ten twelve bucks more than Bulma, maybe the food's not quite as adventurous, and there's more variety. But with the characters added in, and plus being at the Grand is is good. I mean. It's definitely sounds like it's better than like Chef Mickey breakfast. Oh, I haven't had that. I, I have not it. either. I have never done Chef Mickey's. I just know Angry New Phil Jr. said that he felt. Oh, like he was. He's still angry about that. He got like slapped in the face. I mean, if you him. if you li I've listened to him talk about that on on his show, and I mean his his like it was all dirty. Like his table was dirty. Oh, really? spending sixty five dollars. To get scrambled eggs and potato barrels and like your yeah, it was a horror show. Listen, that's not that. good. Yeah, no. So then we we won't do Chef Mickey's, but they don't <laughs> offer a discount. Remember, we asked if yeah, they were Gary, do they discount. don't. You you don't get a uh, an AP or a DVC discount. Well, the good news is I don't say, qualify at least for another you. year, right? For a whole year. Yeah. Well, one I, year I, that they don't do it. I think I'll be no, on the dining you. plan, so I'll be uh, I'll be okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's perfect then. Yeah, no, so no discount for a whole year. So at least with Boma, you're going to have good breakfast and then you'll be able to get that discount. Get a little discount, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think still, if I want to do a character breakfast, I'm going to do Topolino's, hands down. Topolino's. That's the best. That's the best. Mm -hmm. that's the best. Yeah. That's on, yep. that's on the potential list as well. Yeah, um, bars, you'll be, what, what is it about three times a week? I'm like, do you want me to? And you're like, we're not 60 days out yet. You yeah, want me to wait Saturday. a couple of Oh, is it? Yeah, we got to yeah, get that up. up. We, well, up. we got to just make sure it's a, it's when I'm there because I'm only there for two days. Oh, right. You, you need to do Topolino's. Oh. You need you need to do well, it for breakfast. Yeah, I mean, we'll be, we're will be we staying at Beach Club, so it's kind of like a no-brainer. Just hop on the Skyliner. Just hop on the Skyliner. Yeah. It's the best character breakfast on property. The food's phenomenal. Your kids are going to love it. Your kids are going to love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'll do it, especially on the dining plan, too, because then I don't feel like it's... Now, is it hard food. for you to burn? Well, it's only one credit, right? It's only one credit for Yeah, breakfast. that's right. Is it so, hard for you to burn a credit for no, breakfast? No, not when it's... you fine with it? Yeah. Not when it's a $60 breakfast. Oh, you're going to get that steak and eggs? Tell, please know, tell that, me you're going to... That waffle thing sounds so good. Yeah. Because I keep the, seeing the reviews, Dan's and everyone says peach. like the French toast is like the best thing they've ever eaten in their life, and the waffles like the great like. I yeah. feel like you can get steak and eggs anywhere. They're mm. like sourdough or sour cream yeah, waffles. Yeah, got one. I forget. I think she got the waffles, and she said it was just. We had They're that good. review on our YouTube channel, but. Yeah, and then Dan had the quiche, and his quiche was excellent and it what has like, really this like i kind of like quiche but that's like so low on my list what what's his thing with quiche it, it would just struck he liked, fancy when he saw it yeah. on the menu yeah he's like i want to try it then um and because usually he likes to share with me breakfast because he's not a big breakfast guy mm -hmm. so he's like let's share and he found out that he couldn't share he had to get his own meal so he's like okay well what do i get i want to get something different from you so he's like let me try the quiche um so it, it was so good and then the side salad I, i'm like that's perfect because it was very savory and then i had something sweet so it was a good combination oh, so there was I got a to little try side salad with that quiche huh mm -hmm. oh, yeah okay. so it was really good and the side salad was excellent too so yeah we got to try that 
And I just like that I got to have a mimosa. You know, the, you the pog juice. Now, what did yeah. he what did he have? Did he have a like, like a breakfast cocktail? I mean, he's probably no. not put down an IPA, right? Uh, he could have a beer anytime. Oh, okay. But no, he didn't have one. No, he, he is he a didn't. coffee guy? He likes coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. He, he'll drink coffee. But yeah, no, he didn't have a beer, but he can have a beer. You tell him any time of the day and he's he'll go have oh, himself so he a can, beer. He can, drink some, he can drink some beers in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that can be his coffee. The coffee, by the way, Gary, was fantastic because when we ordered, I asked for a juice. So they brought us a juice. Uh, mm -hmm. They brought you got what would you say? The pog juice? Is that what yeah, it's called? I'd, yeah, I had pog juice. And I had orange juice. And she said, we all wanted coffee. So they said they were just brewing a fresh pot and they were going to bring us a pot of coffee. Coffee was fantastic. Usually mm -hmm. on those buffets, it's like, eh. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, yeah the coffee was really good. And did you drink it black? I I drank mine black, no, I, and I, I thought it was I, great. I do cream and sugar, but it was it was fine. It was a good cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. I know I drank it black, and I think it's excellent. Yeah, it was really good coffee. Now let me ask you a question before we start wrapping up. You guys, when I was leaving, you guys were going to take the boat over to Polynesian. Did you guys end up doing that? So how did you finish that day before so you checked into Old Key West? So we went over to the Polynesian and we hung out at the Tambu Lounge. And I, like I that. had, so yeah, Dan had to have a beer there. And then I had a Lapu Lapu. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, I, I have to have one of those. If I'm going to the Poly, I have to have one. Um, the lady goes, so Oh, obviously, the way you're talking, you've had one of those before. Oh, yeah. She's like, That's You know how to pronounce it. You, you pronounce it correctly. You how must have pronounced? ordered this many times. Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She goes, you know how to pronounce it just right. You must have this a lot. And I go, every single visit, as long as I'm, if I'm coming to the poly, I'm having one of those. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, we had that. And then we ended up going to Wilderness Lodge. So I was hoping to, you know, get to the DVC and um, ask some questions about, you know, the new cabins that are going up. So they're not letting you visit the cabins yet, but they are, are going to buy another contract. No, I don't think so. Do you have spreadsheets or does Daniel have spreadsheets? Are you like insane like I am? No, we're not. No, not but insane. my, you so my dad is the one that's been bugging me. He wants to buy another contract. And oh, I, like this. I got to meet this guy. You got to bring him out to <laughs> Disneyland next time I get out there. Yeah. He's, he's the one that's been asking. So he's like, you do the research for me and find me a good contract. And he's like, how many points do you think we need? And I go, I oh, that's my specialty. Get me his phone number. I'm a, every morning. The first thing I do before I even start my coffee is that uh, is I'm <laughs> So I, oh, I told him we, care of your dad. <laughs> we have a we have I mean not a whole lot, but we have I think our poly's like 50 points and then our old key west is like 125 or something like that. Yeah, 175. So that's not enough. I got 150. That's terrible. I, <laughs> I gotta so, double, if not triple that. <laughs> so I told him, I go, maybe like a hundred more points should do it. And he goes, the way you go to Disney yeah. World and Disneyland, we need more points. Than oh, that. I like this guy. <laughs> he gets it. Like, yeah, there's, no. there's like loosening the belt a little bit to make you feel comfortable, but you know you you need a little bit more. I mean, it... <laughs> well, we met a couple in Sanaa, and they have they bought Old Key West when it first opened up. Oh yeah, so they... you're talking like forty five dollars a point. Yeah, 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 in the nineties, and so they. Um, they have 500 points at Old Key West. And they have a family, though. They said their family grew. So it was perfect for them when they had a family of, like, three kids or four kids. And now they have 17, a family of 17 with their grandkids and, you know, the spouses and everything. So they're like, 500 points is nothing now. With 17, like, you need, like, like, like two that's grand like, villas. like fraternity <laughs> row. Like, you need all of those. I yep. think at the point when you there. start having grandkids, they got to get their own contracts. You're not going yeah, to you, yeah, you can't grandpa and grandma's them. contract at that point. Yeah, but they all do it. So she, they said that they do family trips and they'll go stay at Old Key West and they'll do like two bedroom villas, several, so that they can all stay there. And that they're all big Disney fans too. 
Um, now, is your is your dad a big Disneyland? Because you said they live outside of San Diego. So, like, would a Grand Cal contract work for him? I've tried. I've tried. Because um, I told them, if you're going to buy resale contract, you need to buy the West Coast. We yeah. need to get in on the West Coast. No doubt, need, yes. Yeah. I told them, we need to have, you know, either the Grand Californian or the Disneyland Villas. You need to really And I'm seeing that. Disneyland Villas on the resale market heavily yeah. discount right now because people are either getting divorces or they realize I shouldn't have put this on a credit card, yeah. what have you. The but. only problem with that one is you can only stay there with it. That's true, but if you're a West Coaster, that's not a problem. You only have two options. Right. Right. So the resale restrictions don't kill you as much as they do in Orlando. Correct. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's what I've I've been telling them to do. Like, oh, let's do the grand get go because then for sure we would know we'd get into the grand before everybody else. We've been able to score the grand a few times with our DVC points. Yeah, if you're a local, you might be able to squeeze them from me where I have to, you know, I can't go out next week and have to try to book airline tickets and what have you. But for you guys to be able to drive, yeah, if you can grab a weekend here and there, it totally works. Yeah, and I'll just check it. I just keep checking and refreshing and checking and refreshing, and that's how I've been able to get the grand. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. With one of them. The first trip, though, I was able to book it without a problem, and we stayed in, like, a one-bedroom villa. And for some reason, I think it was like in April. So it was right after spring break. Mm -hmm. And so no one wanted, you know, people are are done doing their stuff. And so it kind of dies down a little bit. So, yeah. So that's how we got the one bedroom at Grand Californian. Any final thoughts on uh, 1900 Park Fair from either of you guys? Would you recommend it? Sounds like you guys liked it. Yes, I would. I, yeah, I like it. I I think the character breakfast. I think the food was excellent. And if you're somebody that's like a germaphobe like Dan, who you know doesn't like you know he likes the food to like constantly be changing and people you know not like getting all over. I think it's perfect because um, you're you're gonna try. You know, it, they're changing it out all the time. Yeah, that that's what one thing that I was gonna say because I'm throw, I'm gonna put this video up right after this podcast and that was one of the things because when i first went through the line like you saw like some trays that looked a little empty but they were not because they were constantly changing changing out these trays constantly like i literally grabbed the cheesy um scrambled eggs and he changed it out and put a fresh pair and so i'm like well i gotta get the fresh scrambled (laughs) eggs as opposed to the ones that were there for but they were constantly changing this stuff out Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, and the grip yeah, already sorely needed when it when you're scraping it off the sides. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, the Grand Floridian sorely needed this place back open too. They really did because it. Yeah. It's a people grab. I mean, sure. it, it was it was killing, it was killing Kona, and it was killing the Grand Floridian Cafe. Like yeah, those are couldn't... places that you can normally get. Anytime a dining reservation, and you can't get into these places, and it's because right. 1900 was not open. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but right. Kona is really good. Yeah, so I love their breakfast. Oh, do so do we. Breakfast. Yeah, all right. Now well, I, I need a trip. trip. <laughs> you got to book another trip. You got to come back. I now. need a I need a Walt Disney World trip again, just for yes, food. So you're, you're getting that just like I am with the Disneyland. I cannot wait to get back out to the West Coast. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, Emily, why don't you uh, plug your your podcast and your Instagram one more time for everyone? So you can find me at Magic Key Adventures, where we talk about our trip reports, and then you can find me on Instagram at Emily's underscore Disney underscore Adventures, and you can see all my trips to Disneyland and Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line. Very nice. And of course, uh, you know where you can find us at WDWBTG. That's on YouTube. That's on Facebook. That's on Instagram. That's on Twitter. That's on TikTok. WDW Beyond the Gates podcast family is our Facebook group. Our website, wdwbtg.com. Download us wherever you get your podcast. You can email the show, info at wdwbtg.com, Mike at wdwbtg.com, and Gary at wdwbtg.com. Anything else, Mike? Nope. You, you hit on everything, my friend.
Nailed it as usual. All right, that's going to do it for episode number 528 of the WDW Beyond the Gates podcast. For my co-host, Mike, and for our special guest, Emily, from Magic Key Adventures, my name is Gary. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll talk to you again next week. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. Hey.